everybody, welcome to Anna's Cute Kitchen. I have my sous chef today, Barry, and she's dressed up for the occasion. And we also have Big Red Min. Today we are going to make baby caterpillars and snails. First, we're going to make the snails. I mean, the caterpillars. <laughs> what do you have in the kitchen for us, Em? Blueberries, grapes, tomatoes, celery sticks, peanut butter, and eye and candy eyes. You can also use cream cheese if you're allergic. First, we're going to take the celery stick. First, we're going to take the pe peanut butter on our knife. Very dangerous. Do not use this without parents' permission. Take a big scoop of peanut butter and put it onto your celery stick. And make sure you watch the other insects, the ants on a wall video. There. Now we're going to put a pattern of our caterpillar. I'm going to go blueberry, tomato, grape. Or, no, I'm going to go gra blueberry, grape, tomato. And that's our caterpillar. But the caterpillar, I think, is a little bit wrong. It can't see. So now, to make it the caterpillar see, we're going to put some peanut butter on the tomato and stick two candy eyeballs on. One eyeball, and then you can move the peanut butter. Two eyeballs. There's our first caterpillar. So, now we're going to make our next caterpillar. You can do whatever you like. You can mix it up, do one of each. My favorite of these are grapes, so I'm going to do all grape. Now we're going to put the peanut butter on. It's a little tricky. There. Now we're going to put the little grapes on. You can fit more because the grapes are littler than the tomatoes. Now we're going to add some eyes. I'm going to stick it with my finger because it's tastier and easier. Now we're going to put two eyebrows on. Fabulous. There's our second grape caterpillar. Whoa! There it goes. There. Three. Now I'm going to do a all blueberry caterpillar. Like we did before, take your knife, spread it on the peanut butter. It's a bit messy, so if you like mess in the kitchen, this is the perfect snack for you. Now we're going to put all the blueberries on. Barry just loves blueberries. A little bit on the blueberries because the blueberries are the smallest. So make sure you have little eyes for the blueberry. There is our blueberry caterpillar. <laughs> okay, so now that we've done our caterpillars, now we are going to make baby snails. You, the ingredients that you need are almonds. You can use cashews as well, celery again, apple, you can use orange, cucumber, or kiwi. Now we're going to do it. First, you take your peanut butter and put it on the celery stick. Make 
Make sure you be careful with all butter knives. But make sure you use a Mickey one so you don't get hurt. Very tricky. And there is our kiwi snail. Gotta be careful because the kiwi is slippery. Now he's on his side. So now we're gonna do our cucumber snail. So now we're gonna put the peanut butter on. Celery stick. And you can also taste it while doing the process. Delicious. If you don't like getting your hands dirty like me, you can put it on the plate. Don't let, don't let <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, that was a blooper. D never eat a sharp knife. Do it when there is no blades. Now we're going to put the cucumber on the peanut butter. Take your next almond. Put the peanut Well, Save that. Put the peanut butter on the almond and add to us. But you might need a little bit more peanut butter. One minute. You gotta put one peanut butter on the other side and not on the other. So now we're gonna stick it in and then pop his head. Oh. And then his head falls off. And then you get really... Okay, pause! <laughs> I guess it has to be a one eye snail, but that's okay. Because then, he can be Mike Wazowski's pet. There we go. So... What happened to the knife? <laughs> <laughs> it took a lot. It took a lot. Okay. Wipe it on your kitchen. <laughs> or you can wipe it on your mother. <laughs> Don't put that in there. I do that to Mindy. I do that to Mindy sometimes. Okay, anyways. Now we are going to put the peanut butter on our snail. We're running out of peanut butter. Oh, we're leaking all in all. There. Now we're gonna put our apple in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, help! <laughs> that we've got the lopsided snail. We're gonna attempt to put the head on. Caterpillars <laughs> are a lot easier. Dun, da, da. Pause. So now that we are finished, we are going to name our caterpillars and snails. I know it seems a bit crazy, but you have to do it because it's really, really cute. This one is called Simon. And this one is called Sabrina. This one is called Jennifer. 
and then we got Grandpa Snail. Grandpa Snail Williams and um, Cuddle Fluffy Cucumber and Steve the Kiwi Snail. Thanks for watching everybody. Give us a big thumbs up to subscribe and share it with all your friends. It's a healthy and easy snack for children. And thanks for watching everybody. See you in the next video. Now that we've finished our snails and caterpillars, these are a perfect snack for either a school treat, a normal snack, or even a, a summer picnic. So now I'm going to try a caterpillar. I'm going to try the grape. They're really good and it's really tasty for a good, really healthy snack that tastes so good. Have a nice summer everybody. Bye guys.